Hello and welcome everyone to another video where I show you some things that I've gotten. This video I'm going to be showing you some things that I got when I was in New York, some things that were given to me when I was in New York, uh, some things that I got in the mail when I got back, and then also some items that I thrifted just yesterday when I was out shopping for some bundles and there's some items that I think that I'm going to keep for myself. I will also be trying on everything for you guys so you can see how it fits. Let's start with the things that I got while I was in New York. So I was there for a party at the Soho Grand Hotel that I was hosting for this company called Jacket New York and I've shot for them before in LA and then they flew me out to New York and we did a shoot there too. And then we had the party at the Soho and yeah, it was a lot of fun. I got to stay with my friend Lady and our friend Ava hung out with us too. She's child of Venus and Mars. She's got a YouTube channel as well. You should check her out. She does more of like hippie fashion. So if you're into that, check her out. She's the gal to go to. It was really great because I had a bunch of people show up that said that they knew me from either Instagram or YouTube and some people came bearing gifts, which was an absolute treat. So one of the things that was given to me that is super special and when she handed it over, I literally almost cried is this purse, which you guys all know what this is. It's the intro to my videos. So her company, Vicky, is a play on the T-Rex album Electric Warrior, but she does like bags and guitar straps and all that kind of stuff. But she did this custom detail. I got this blue on here from the jeans that I was wearing the day afterwards. They're new jeans. And um, yeah, the dye was rubbing off on the purse, unfortunately. But the purse is still great. I love this. I love how big it is to carry all of my stuff around. And I just think that this was so sweet and so special that she took the time to make this. And she said that she made it like the night before too, which is really cool. So love that. And I'm gonna be linking any shops that are mentioned in the description too. So if it's not a thrifted item, um, I'll probably be linking a shop unless it's like another gift that somebody just gave me, but Vicky has a shop. This is what she does for her job. So yeah, that's gonna be linked in the description. Next up, I'll show this jacket, which is from Jacket New York, the people that I shot with. This is one of the jackets that I shot in in the streets of New York and they said that I could pick out a jacket that I wanted and I really liked this one. I don't have a white jacket like this yet, so thought that this was a good option and I like the kind of like faux fur, like fuzzy lining right here as well. It's a cute touch and nice and cozy around your neck. I got these little sunglasses from a girl that came to the Soho and she was the sweetest. We took a couple pictures together and then she gave me these sunglasses which are so cool. I love the shape of these. I have never seen glasses like this honestly and they're kind of like the Rolling Stones logo is what Andrew said and I totally see that since they're like the lip shape. But these are really fun. I can't wait to wear these. Now this is a dress that I got uh, from two girls that I was shooting with on Friday for their vintage brand, Shedhead Vintage. And we just kind of like walked around Chinatown in Soho that day and took a bunch of photos in their vintage clothes because they're a vintage brand. They just sell like vintage clothes. They were both super sweet, Hallie and Haley. And this dress that I'm gonna show you was one that we were actually supposed to shoot, but we didn't get to it. It was the one outfit that we didn't end up shooting and I was like well I would buy it off you guys right now and so I did because it is so perfect I really really love this color like this kind of olivey green and these collars are so so good I love a good dagger collar and I love the button details on it as well it's adorable and then the little pockets and it's seriously like the perfect mini length. You guys know me, I love short mini dresses and this one is seriously the perfect length. I wore this out that exact night actually after shooting with them. I met up with Lady and then we met up with Ava at the place. We went to this art performance kind of area called Ruvulad, R-U-B-U-L-A-D. 
and it was really, really cool. Lady was telling me that she had gone to a couple of their parties before, and it's just kind of like this underground scene in New York where it's totally like not a touristy thing. They don't like really do any marketing or anything as far as that. You have to know about it to go there or know somebody who knows about it. So that was really, really fun. Outside was amazing. You like walk through this little tunnel thing, but before you even get inside, we were walking and we walked a long ways. Uh, we almost walked past it too because it didn't look like anything special. It just looked like a random door that was open to like this kind of factory like warehouse building kind of a thing but then some guys were walking out and we asked them for directions and they were like oh it's right through here so we went through and it was all decorated like Halloween kind of esque through this little tunnel and then you meet the ticket guys you give them their ticket and then you're in this little like courtyard thing where there's all kinds of like art installations there's this gigantic mouth with a rainbow tongue that comes out and you can sit on the tongue or you can like stand on it nobody really cares what you do there um, and yeah, we got some pictures on it, Lady and Ava and I, and there's like a little lounge area with couches and stuff, and there's a slide, and there's a teepee, it's so cool, and then inside there's all kinds of decorations around, like so much to look at, there's these crazy headdresses all over the wall and things hanging from the ceiling, the bathroom was filled with streamers, we took videos and pictures in the bathroom with this girl that we met, cause she was like so cute and so fun, and then, um, yeah, the, the hallway to the bathroom is just covered in stuffed animals, like the wall and the ceiling as well, so that was really cool. It was just like a really cool experience. So if you're in New York and you're looking to go to a party, it was all ages, so that was also really cool, but that was fun. Anyways, wore this dress. It was great. Fantastic night. Had a great time shooting with the Shedhead girls. They are the sweetest and they have some really cool vintage, so check them out for sure. Again, linked in the description. Oh, and then the Shedhead girls also gave me these shoes that Hallie had. Um, they just didn't fit her right, she said, because like the instep kind of was high on her foot compared to like this deal. So she gave me these and they're so cool. They're just like a nice little slide on heel, but the detailing in here is kind of Scandinavian we were talking about and we're both Norwegian so we bonded over that as well but these shoes are super cute and then the last things that were given to me in New York uh, were these two crocheted tops like beautiful beautiful tops in my last video where I was doing my hair I was wearing this one with a turtleneck underneath just so that I'd stay warm but look at how cute these are I love the colors I love the little design these are made so nicely and they are made by cosmic blues crochet is the shop name and yeah i'm i'm so excited to wear this one now like these colors that's amazing so 70s so cute a little halter neck this will be so cute in the summertime too but layering it is a great way to wear it in the winter and fall as well all right, now we're gonna get into the things that I got in the mail when I got back. I went to the post office and I had a couple packages in the mail, which was very nice. And the first two things that I got are actually something that were already mine, but were just sent back to me. And they're my two favorite vintage purses, but the straps were broken on them. So I sent them to my friend Matthew of the Blackfoot Gypsies, which you guys have probably heard me talk about forever because it's like my favorite band. But yeah, he, he fixes like leather stuff and does all kinds of leather work. So I sent them to him and he brought these purses back to life because this one before I was just using like a chain necklace as the strap, which was innovative, but it was also very painful to have over my shoulder. Um, but this purse is also signed by Ann Wilson. Last time I saw her in concert. So this one was very special to me and it means a lot that I've got it fixed now. And he made it so that I can take off this strap if I want to and just have this as a clutch. So I thought that was pretty smart of him. And then he also fixed the strap on this one, which the strap was only broken on one side. So what I had been doing for like the longest time is tying it with this like suede cord that I had. But like as I was like doing stuff like dancing and just running around and doing my day-to-day -day life, it would slowly slide off and then break again and I'd have to tie it up. It was just kind of like, 
a pain in the butt and kind of embarrassing when it would happen too. So I'm happy that I actually have a strap that's fully functioning again. If you need any vintage purses or any vintage items like that fixed up, you should definitely hit up Matthew. I got two packages with clothing in them. One is all the way from the UK from a brand called the Hippie Shake. And they've sent me stuff before, which is always amazing. First, they sent me this, and this is from their new, all the items that they sent me actually are from their new collection called Stargazer, I believe. And this dress here was actually modeled after a dress that Patty Boyd wore. I think it was like a picture of her with like the tall sandals and like the circles. I'll pop it up if I can find it. It's not like the same print or anything, but it's like the same silhouette with like the little poofy poet kind of sleeves right here. And then it goes down and poofs out again and is cinched in around the wrists. And so just like all of these beautiful details, I love this like empire waist right here and then the square neckline everything about this is amazing and they have a couple different prints but i really liked this um dark paisley they've got like an orangey paisley and they also have a black print with like stars and navy moons on it it's just some kind of like astrological looking print but i really loved this one so i snagged that i'm super excited about it too it fits perfectly and I'm in love. I cannot wait to wear this. And then in that same pattern, but this is like a silky fabric, whereas that's more like a, I don't know. I wouldn't say that it's cotton, but it's definitely not silk like this is. So it's the same pattern though, and it's just like a little necktie. So you can wear it like this, or you can wear it in your hair, or you can tie it on your purse, or you can tie it around your leg, or whatever you feel like doing. Even like this, sometimes I'm feeling like that to look like ultra hippie, but you know. Then, from their Stargazer collection again, they sent me this vest, which is a black velvet vest with some beautiful embroidery, and this is like such a 60s staple. I love this and I was waiting to get a vest like this forever, or just like on the lookout for a vest like this. So. Just a tag, yeah, Stargazer. It's so cute. They're always killing it, but I really love this collection. The entire collection's amazing. They did like suits, like full on suits, like a blazer and like pants, full on in like this pattern or the star pattern or the orange pattern of that Paisley. And it, it's phenomenal. Honestly, love it so much. I think I'm wearing this piece out tonight with like a green Paisley kind of a dress that I already have. It was one of like the first real vintage vintage items that I bought so can't wait to break that out again. And then lastly the Hippie Shake sent me some of their glasses which they just started selling too. They've got all kinds of cool glasses and I picked out these like gigantic ones because they're amazing and the little sticker that was on them when they came to me said that they change color as they get into light so that's also pretty cool. You can wear them inside and they're really not too dark, but then if you go out in the sun, they're going to adapt to that and shade your eyes. And that is all I got from the Hippie Shake. You guys should for sure check out that collection because it's phenomenal and I am in love. Okay, next I got this package from Electric Stardust, which is a vintage company as well. And Bella, the owner, just reached out to me and said that she would like to send me a few pieces and she said that I could either pick out some things that I liked or she could surprise me. And I love surprises, so I was like, girl, you just go ahead and pick it out, whatever you think I'd like, and send it my way. I'm sure I'll love it. And she nailed it. She really has some great items and these attest to that. So first, she sent me these little striped true 60s hot pants so 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 cute I love these I love like little 60s shorts I'm actually wearing some of my favorite ones right now they're not even vintage though these ones I just got from H&M like five years ago or so now so I wear them non-stop though but they're just like a great staple and they're so fun to wear because I still feel dressed up and cute but I also can like move around and do my thing and I kind of like the like boyish look that it gives. So yeah, she gave me these, love them so much. I love that they're striped too. 
love a vertical stripe she also sends the matching top and both of these are like actually vintage items so that's amazing that they're like in completely perfect condition like the fabric feels like it hasn't been worn at all this buttons up like three buttons right at the chest here and then it's like open you'll see on the try on part a little bit more but it's so cute and then it's got a slit in the back too so i think that this will be cute with like a a white turtleneck underneath and white tights for the winter time or just in the summertime it'll be cute on its own too like a little fun beachy kind of daytime look so super excited about that and I can wear these each separately on their own too and create like a totally different outfit so I'm very excited about these and then she also sent me this mini dress which is like the mini dress of my dreams honestly it's so cute and it's such a good length and look at the pattern on this like it's little hearts in a stripe formation within little polka dots as the alternating stripe this collar is insane and then it's got a little tie right here that goes down it's very patty boyd very very patty boyd then the last thing that i got from electric stardust is this this little like lacy cover-up top thing and it's obviously just lace so i'll have to wear a bralette underneath if i'm not trying to do a nip slip but you know some places don't care i just recently found out that in new york city it's actually totally legal to just go around without a shirt on so free the nip you know whatever um but some places it's frowned upon so you can either layer it with something or just wear it as it is. I personally don't mind just wearing it as it is, but you know, trying to not get arrested as well. But it's like a little tie front kind of a deal here. You'll see again in the try on, but the sleeves are amazing. This is like so Stevie Nicks, and I love vintage lace. I love the like color that it gets, a little bit like off white, not really like yellowy, but it does have that vintage look to it, and it's just so pretty. I really cannot wait to wear this. I could even like layer a turtleneck underneath I feel like and it would be cool for winter time as well. Okay now let's get into the pieces that I thrifted and the first item that I'm going to share is actually something that's going into a bundle that I'm going to try to ship out tomorrow but it's so cool I had to share it with you guys and I'm so jealous of this girl. I really hope that she loves it as much as I do because it is amazing. She said that she wanted a Bob Dylan kind of Rolling Thunder review inspired bundle. This hat is exactly like that kind of a vibe, like the Rolling Thunder review. If you haven't seen that movie, documentary, whatever it is, check it out. I love Bob style in that. I actually made my own hat inspired by that. One that he wears in it and this is so similar to that as well with just like the crazy feathers and these feathers are so beautiful. I love them so much. So this is really cool. I also gave her like a long silky kind of a dress. I actually wore it in my Buffalo Exchange video that I did so if you've seen that you know what I'm talking about but it'll fit her so much better and she'll look great in it. So that I figured will look super, super cool with this. And I just wanted to share this before I send it off to her. Oh my gosh, and now I'm just kind of noticing the feathers have like a little bit of like purpley red on the side as well. So good. I couldn't believe it when I saw it sitting there in the thrift store. I was like, you have got to be kidding me right now because this is exactly what I needed. And there it was just waiting for me. That kind of stuff happens all the time though. I'm very, very blessed whenever I go into the thrift store. Okay, next item is actually new with tags, but it is a vintage item. The brand's called My Michelle, and I'm pretty sure it's like 90s, but it totally looks 60s. It's one of those 90s, those 60s moments, especially if you style it right. Um, and it's just like this little mini dress could be worn on its own or layered up. I'm probably gonna layer it. It's got these cute little buckles on the straps. I might actually even give this to my friend Michelle because I could totally see her wearing this and the brand is my Michelle so that'd be really cute. But it's like this plaid print and then it's got like little flowers mixed in with it and on the back it has a little tie so you can cinch it in and make it fit you perfectly. 
All right, next, I don't know if this is real or not, but I had to get it because, I mean, why not? It's the Chanel scarf, and I don't have any, like, designer things like this, so I love that. I personally love designer clothes. I love high fashion, like I've always just been interested in it since I was a little kid. I've always wanted to be a fashion designer or something along those lines. So yeah, of course I saw this and I was like, big yes, big yes from me. I have really no idea if it's real. I don't think that it is, probably. But, you know, why not? Why not have it? It's just kind of fun. It'll be like a cool kind of thing to do one of these with when it's raining a little over the shoulder moment with like big sunglasses or just to kind of like tie off you know so many ways to wear a scarf even if I just hung it up on a wall it's literally huge so it would make a great wall decoration as well next I got this belt which is so cool it might end up in a bundle sometime but for now I love it it's the silver little like two leaf kind of belt it wouldn't be to like actually hold up anything but just as like a decoration and it has like this little hook here and then a little metal square that you just loop it together like that and it's stretchy so it's a nice little like decorative piece very Stevie Nicks kind of then I got another belt here which this one will probably end up in a bundle too but I just thought it was so cute, the little like flower design. I love the green and the like reds and browns and oranges. Super pretty. And the great thing about these kind of belts is they can fit so many sizes because they don't have like holes that they go into. It's just like how you loop it around, you know? So these are really nice to get for bundles because they're super versatile. Then I found these pants and I don't really know about these pants, like I like them. But I'm just like questioning like what were these for, like who made these and why kind of a thing, but I, I really do love them. Like I love the pattern. They've got pockets, so that's always very nice. Ladies, you know me. We need pockets. Um, this kind of just reminds me of like pirates and I love pirates. They're like a capri length, but I like to wear capris like this with like knee-high boots again it's like a pirate kind of a look but i think this with like a black turtleneck and some belts or like a poofy sleeved kind of roughly shirt will look cool with it i don't know exactly how i'm gonna wear them yet but i like it a lot even if it's just for like lounging around the house they're very cool then i have another belt it was a really good belt day but this one is so cool it's really thick and it's nice quality leather got these cool little holes in it as well that are like little hearts but then I doubt that they're supposed to actually look like hearts and it doesn't have like one of those little stabby things <laughs> I don't even know what it's called it doesn't have one of those little metal rods here that you like stick in to hold the belt in place if you know what I'm saying but how you actually loop it in and make it stay is you just cinch it into here and then there you have it that's how you do it it's pretty cool I've never seen a belt like this and I really love the like width of it then I got some more tights because there is a ton of tights there I'm really hoping that these ones are opaque which it says that they're going to be but I'm also hoping that they're not gonna be too big because it says for 125 to 155 pounds and I'm like 115 so hoping that they're not too big because that really drives me crazy when my tights are just like falling down throughout the day I want them to be like skin tight like as tight as possible but I needed new white tights so I got these and then I got these ones too which I love the little um, logo here fashion 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 and they're knee highs but they're also white and I didn't have any little white knee highs so I needed these they're like 99 cents so that's amazing then the last belt that I have to show you is a little circle belt I didn't have like a silver one because I always wear gold but then on the rare occasion that I do wear silver it's like 
what do I wear as far as belts go, so I had to get this one. It's got like these little rhinestones on this side. Some of them are missing and I'm not really like a fan of the rhinestones look. It just kind of looks cheap and like tacky to me personally in this instant. Like it's not that I'm against rhinestones or anything, but in this circumstance they just are not the look like you can see some are missing so what I'm gonna do is just flip it around and wear it on just the plain silver side and that solves that problem and then I got these little velvet shorts and I always wear spandex well not always but a lot of times under mini dresses I'll wear spandex that I have from like dance back in the day and I do that just so that I'm not like totally exposed underneath and possibly will show my underwear if I bend over or if the wind blows. So I thought that these would be cute ones to have, like black little velvet ones for the winter time. Just adds a little something different. And they're also really nice and comfy for lounging around the house or doing yoga in the morning, all that kinds of good stuff. And the last item that I have to show you is this wonderful green coat that I found thrifting yesterday for eight dollars and it's got all this cool paisley embroidery on it it's got it going up or it's got some going up the sleeves as well and then it's just got this cool collar so and the inside is pretty sick so i love this and it's like a good long length as well so you guys that is all i have got for you today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this gave you some inspiration for some things to look for while you're shopping or maybe some ideas for how to wear some of the items that you already have in your closet i hope you're having a fantastic day whatever you're doing and i'll catch you in the next one